Well, how should I begin? You press it right here, baby. Okay. Well, you already know, Cor. Cor, you have a big sister, right? You have a big sister? Okay, she's playing. I'm trying, I'm trying to lead to something. All right, listen. Daddy's trying to talk to you. Okay. You, you know you got a big sister, right? I know. Okay, well, what about a baby brother? You want a baby brother? Okay. Well, you have it. Well, how do we say it? You're going to get a baby brother. Your baby brother's going to be here in... Baby brother, old baby brother. Okay, yeah, you gotta. Okay, but your your baby brother's gonna be here in like before you turn five, probably in like what five, five months? months? Yeah, five I, months. I know I got two brothers. Um, like Layla, we share them. Okay, baby. What you gonna have a little tiny brother? That means you're gonna have to help mommy take care of him. Are you gonna love him? And me and Layla too. Yep, you and Layla. Yep, y'all gonna be his big sisters. And baby God gonna be a little brother. Okay, you lost me on that one. <laughs> baby but. God's gonna be a little brother. Uh, you know, she be talking about baby God, but mommy has your baby brother in her belly now. And 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 that sign is is your baby brother's heartbeat in mommy's belly. Mommy has baby brother in her stomach now, Koi. You the old one? <laughs> or the um new one? <laughs> it's a new one. She's so silly. He's in mommy's belly. You wanna see? Mm -hmm. She's a big old belly. <laughs> yeah, your baby brother's in mommy's belly. Some people don't have a belly. Some, um, okay, whatever. <laughs> Some people don't have a belly button. Some people do have a belly button. Everybody has a belly button. If they're human and came from a mommy, they have a belly button. Those found... are your brother's stuffed animals, so go put them back. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm back. Today is September 11th. Um, it is about 1.40 in the afternoon. I, I'm at the Conception Pharmacy because I just picked up some more of my medication of the Enoxaparin, I believe it is, my blood thinners. And it's like every time I come, I swear they change the packaging. Like the box looks completely different than last time. So that was i got three boxes this time instead of two and that because i was just running through two too quick and i hate driving out my way to get it that was 240 dollars, and i'm still taking these shots so yeah um i just made another consultation with a midwife at a birthing center because i'm highly considering going to a birthing center this time instead of a hospital because with all the COVID stuff i'm not comfortable being in a hospital i'm not comfortable getting tested um I, I don't want none of that so even hopefully i don't know if it's gonna be gone by then by the time i give birth which is in february but i'm just planning ahead and i want to try to be back this time meaning i had a c-section with koi my first pregnancy and this time i want to have a vaginal um yeah so i just made my second appointment i have one saturday with a midwife and i have another one tuesday so we'll see how that goes i'm nervous because it's no pain management and i'm all for pain management and it's just like if i can be at a birthing center and they give me um epidural i would gladly take it for real i would pay extra to have matter of fact maybe i need to do that try to see if i can find an anesthesiologist <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's, I'm extra, but I, I want to try all avenues this time because I feel like if this is my not, last pregnancy, um, then I want to, you know, I want to try and feel everything 
not feel but i want to try everything so i did the c-section and that was like a dramatic experience and i want to try the um birthing experience this time so you know like laboring and actually like i want to like catch my baby or pull him out so i don't know we'll see i'm talking a good game now but i don't know so um i'll let you guys know how my consultation goes and i don't know if you can tell but i'm in a motherhood maternity dress from years ago when i was pregnant with koi because i cannot fit my clothes it's like i'm just getting bigger and bigger i tried to put on a sundress out of all things a sundress and it was a no-go it was my baby was like no little buddha was out of there so yeah so um my announcement will be up soon for you guys so obviously if you're watching this you already know or heard my announcement but yeah other than that um just anticipating arrival i've been buying clothes and stuff which is exciting but i just can't wait to meet them so i'll definitely let you guys know how the consultations with the midwives go at the birthing center so i'll check back with y'all later